kwanza moyo wangu bwana asifiwe sana tunashukuru bwana kwa sababu ya wema wake na uaminifu wake siku ya leo amekupa uhai amekupa uzima na pengine wewe uko mahali hauko sawa kwa sababu ya hali moja ama nyingine unayopitia katika maisha yako lakini tu ningekwambia mpendwa uweze kuona upendo wa bwana si katika yale hauna lakini kwa kuona amekupa uzima wa milele umelipa nini ndio ukwe uko hai you cannot even explain why you are alive because kama ni matendo kama ni wema wako those one you don't qualify and so god does not owe us anything you owe him the gratitude for keeping you alive na siku ya leo ninataka kuanza a series ya kuhusu love kwa sababu wapendwa nimeangalia na niruhusu kusema hii with all a lot of humility na mimi nikijihesabu that so much has changed nowadays about the church na imekuwa the church is about gifts the church is about ministry but then we are neglecting the most important thing katika maisha ya kanisa na ya mkristo ambayo ni jambo la upendo and so Paul katika kitabu cha Wakorintho chapter 1 acha first Corinthians chapter 12 anapomalizia ameongea about the spiritual gifts the gifts of healing the gifts of faith the gifts of prophecy word of knowledge words of wisdom na akaongea mambo hayo kwa kirefu sana anapoenda kumalizia pale chini anaongea anasema kuhusu do all have gifts of healing do all speaking tongues do all interpret na verse that one anakuja anasema now eagerly desire the greater gifts and yet i will show you the most excellent way Wanaambia juu ya hizi vipawa na karama za Roho Mtakatifu zote. Mambo haya mazuri ambayo tunaona. Anakuja anawaambia wacha niwaonyeshe the most excellent way. There is that which is very very important. There is which is underlining the most crucial thing such that if you neglect that one it means nothing. And that's why Paul anakuja katika 1 Corinthians chapter 13 sasa anaanza na anasema If I speak in the tongues of men all of angels but do not have love i am only a resounding gong or a cringing symbol if the give if i have the gift of prophecy can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge and if i have faith that i can move mountains but do not have love i am nothing if i give all i possess to the poor give over my body to hardship that i may boast i do not if i do not have love i gain nothing paul anaongea mambo mazito sana and i see where the church is i see where brethren we are at this particular moment katika wakati huu ambapo tunafanya mambo makubwa ingia katika makanisa unabi unatolewa ingia uone the programs that are going on there ona katika makanisa the gifts that are at work demons are being cast out people are being healed the ministry is going on and we are looking to this and somehow hata imebadilisha that now has become the operation of gifts the charisma has become the standard in the church nowadays such that ukienda mahali watu wanatolewa mapepo ukienda mahali watu wanatabiliwa ukisikia mahali prophecy is going on people are flocking there and the church has come to a place where by we are defining church according to the gifts and we are neglecting the most important thing that is love and god is saying a church can be like that a church can have all this ministry but it is missing the most excellent way mpendo anataka kuweza uweze kuona kitu moja ati bila upendo it doesn't matter how well you are you speak and i have learned one thing people don't care how much you know people don't care how much well you preach people care if, about if you do care about them and, and this is what is missing in the world and no wonder the church as powerful as it is as active as it is it is not reaching to the world why kanisa haina upendo mimi na wewe hatuna upendo when the church is full of love it cares about the sinners jesus for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son he reached out to the sinners when the church is about love it cares about those who are perishing it is active in evangelism it is says i see you i see you are perishing i care about you and goes from the church and to the world to reach out for those who are lost lakini wakati tuko katika the gifts become what boosters what we concentrate about and that's why in the church to receive miracles we are in the church to receive prophecy we are in the church to be healed and these things are good but then where is love the bible says god is love love is not an attribute of god love is the nature of god 
in other words you can never separate god with love ukitafuta material vile tunasemaga hiyo nguo hiyo nguo ni material ya cotton ukiguza mungu hivi ni cha yake material ya mungu that make up the dna and make up of god is love itself so when there is no love it doesn't matter how a church looks so active it doesn't matter how godly things or good things are happening if there is no church if there is no love Paul says we are nothing there is no church there if there is no god if there is no love then it means nothing and that's why there is a church that god spoke about jesus spoke to this church and said you have a reputation of being alive but you are dead ukiangalia the worship is going on powerful praises are going on ministry powerful ministry is going on kuna biu wa kimataifa lakini kama hakuna upendo we seem to be very active we seem to be very alive but god gives a verdict and says without love you are nothing mpendo i bring it down to you the bible says people shall know you are my disciples if you love one another na kwa hivyo the trademark of a christian the trademark of a godly church it is not the activities of the church it is simply love if you do not love mpendo anataka kuambia wewe ni bure kabisa people will never know because you go to church every sunday no matter how you sing very good powerful worship music this one do not speak of your christianity the world will recognize people not believers people who are sinners there is something they are longing for they will know you love them when you are concerned with your life when we go out out and reach out to those who are lost they say if you can leave your work if you can come and tell me about jesus christ god you care and then they see god in us when we go when they have problems and we stand with them and they are not believers they see if you can invest in us you care and i want to tell you my brother it doesn't matter how spiritual you are you may be speaking in tongues 24/7 you may be interceding the whole night but i tell you bila upendo wewe ni bure the trade of christianity is love and god is love may we go back to where let us stop focusing on the gifts it they are important i can tell you love is what god is looking for and that's where the church need to go back that's where me and you we need to go back and i pray that love will be back with you in jesus mighty name na mbegu wewe uko hapa na uja kwa mpendo ningetaka tu kuomba na wewe na nikurejeshe katika upendo wa Yesu Kristo maana Yesu Kristo alikuwa msalabani kwa sababu yako god is love that's what he emits that's what he radiates even now you can receive this love repeat this prayer after me dear lord i am a sinner forgive my sins wash me with the blood of jesus christ make me a new creation i confess my sins i put my faith in you to save me from eternal destruction and right now write my name in the book of life and save me in jesus mighty name amen mpokea yesu kristo na umuishie ingia katika kanisa ninafundisha neno la bwana a christ centered church and live for him amen